Oh my god, that's terrible. Hi guys, it's me Vasiliki and in this video we are going to be testing new makeup products. I have some PR products that were sent to me. Also, I have the new Nikki Tutorials eyeshadow palette. This one is in collaboration with Beauty Bay and you can find it on beautybay.com. I also bought mine from beautybay.com and I also got two Supreme Glosses by Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I'm super excited to try all of these products today and share this video with a friend that likes makeup products also don't forget to subscribe for more makeup reviews and tutorials i'm gonna start off with a new primer by l'oreal this one is the infallible super grip primer it is for combination to oily skin why did i buy this because i have dry skin okay i don't remember this one is a mattifying primer this one is the first primer that can act like double tape it can grip skin and sticks to makeup even though I have dry skin, I like mattifying primers. We have a squeezable tube. I'm super, super curious to swatch it. <laughs> okay. The consistency is like a little bit thicker, but it's not that sticky. I'm going to add on one side first to do some close-ups before and after. It has an ultra long wearing and matte finish, even on oily skin. Also, it has a lightweight and comfortable texture. This one is very fast absorbing. Oh no, it is piling up. No, don't tell me that. Okay, I will try to not apply more on this side. Zoom, zoom, zoom. So we can see something. Mirror, check. This side is definitely less shiny than this one. Also, I think my pores here are a little bit filled in and they are not so noticeable. Yeah, now my forehead is also very dry it doesn't have a scent also i don't feel the primer on my face and i'm going to apply some on the other side as well it's not a very spreadable primer so you definitely need to work in sections with this primer because it is very fast absorbing and it can easily peel off as you can see it doesn't give color to my skin it is transparent and to apply my foundation i'm going to use this new sponge here it is with a brand made by sunday and it is the microfiber velvet blender it is latex free and also it can absorb 70 percent less makeup Oh, I have the foundation bottle very close to me. And with this one, you can get that flawless airbrushed look with a little help from our microfiber velvet blender. Also, this one is infused with vitamin E that can help soothe your skin and reduce redness. That's the first time that I hear about a sponge with vitamin E. Let's see how soft it is. It feels a little bit synthetic. I'm going to wet it before I use it, of course. And for foundation, I'm going to be using this one by Catrice. This is the True Skin Hydrating Foundation. And I have it in the shade 20 Warm Beige. This one contains hyaluronic acid. Also, it is long wearing. I have done a full day wear test for this foundation. We have a situation with the primer it is peeling off here it looks super super dry also i have a new concealer by essence this one is the skin loving sensitive concealer i have it in the shade 20 medium you can find more products in the skin loving sensitive collection by essence i also have a video for this my sponge has a little hole here why before we start head band on i don't have very good news my skin is also drier here. Okay, I think that this 70% less absorption of makeup is true because other times I would have applied more product on my hand. The sponge is firm, it is soft, but not as soft as the Beauty Blender. It feels like a very durable sponge. I have like a tight sensation on my skin and usually I don't have it with this foundation. So I think I think it is the primer. I really like the sponge. You can apply your foundation super fast. So it's been a couple of seconds and the tight sensation that I was feeling, now it is wearing off. All is good. And let's continue with the concealer. I'm trying to lighten up a little bit my face because the foundation is darker for me. Let's start blending. I'm using the same side 
that I have used to apply my foundation. The size of the sponge is ideal to get in the inner corner, also to blend super fast the concealer on the eyelid. This sponge is like magic. I think I have more coverage of the concealer because of the sponge today. Usually with this one I need a little bit more product, but now I can see that I don't have a lot of shadows from my dark circles. I also have the tingling sensation now on my eyes and I didn't apply the primer on my eyes so it is definitely the sponge. Do you think it is the vitamin E infusion? It's weird but now it is wearing off again. I want to continue with some cream blushes that Pixie has sent to me in PR and we have the most adorable PR packaging here. It is exactly the same with the product and this is how it looks inside and they sent me three shades of this beautiful blush, adorable. This one is the shade Juicy, then we have the shade Flare and the darkest is the shade Ruby and this is the On The Glow blush Tented Moisture Stick and I want to start with the shade Juicy this is how the packaging is and we also have a little cap here because with cream products you want something that can seal very well so it doesn't dry out. At the bottom you can twist the product and this is how you can get it out. I'm going to apply some on this area. Ooh, it looks a lot more wearable than in the tube and I'm going to blend it out with my fingertips. It blends super super easily, it gives like a very light color. I want to apply just a little bit more to see if it is buildable. It gives a very nice glow to the skin and it doesn't feel sticky but it is sticky. About this one it was very easy to blend and I also want to take the shade Flare for the other cheek. <laughs> I'm trying to create like an uplifting line. For this one I'm going to blend it with the other side of the sponge because I don't want to completely cover it. So it looks super natural and I think I prefer blending this with my fingers but you can still see the color. I'm going to apply a little bit more and blend it with my fingertips. This side is getting a little bit patchy near my concealer. Maybe I have applied too much product on this area. I'm gonna be using the darkest one on the nose, on the bridge because I want to see all of the colors on my skin. Let's do face swatches. And this is the shade the Ruby. That's a lot, right? I'm going to blend it with my fingertip because for this product I think it works better. Oh, it looks super cute! This one is definitely darker for my skin tone, so I need less product. I'm going to apply just a little bit more to see how intense it can get. Yes, it is definitely a lot darker. You can use this one for darker complexions as well. They are not super sticky but I think I'm gonna set them for now. I don't feel any of the blushes on my skin. They are super lightweight, also scentless. <laughs> All of the shades have great pigmentation, they are super blendable, they look very natural on the skin and I think these are gonna look very nice also without foundation. I'm taking a tissue here because I want to clean it. As you can see I have some foundation, don't forget to clean it before storing it back. Yeah, we're losing some product but it is better to have it squeaky clean. I'm going to set everything with the True Skin Mineral Loose Powder by Catrice Cosmetics. This this one contains hyaluronic acid and it gives a transparent matte finish. For the face I'm using a powder brush by Morphe. My skin is getting a little bit patchy here because of the primer. I will try to apply a little bit of powder to not make it drier. For the eyes I'm using the brush 209 by Luxie. After that I'm going to continue with a PR package that I received by Benefit. Da -da -da. We have a sleep mask here which is very soft and actually fits my head. It is super super gorgeous. They have sent me the Hula Glow Bronzer. I have tried the regular bronzer, the matte and it is very nice. This is how it looks inside. We have a little mirror, also a brush. Let's take it out. Then 
Dun, dun. The brush is super super cute, it has glitter. I have never tried it so I'm going to use it today with the bronzer. I also got this precisely my brow pencil in the shade 4 Warm Deep Brown. I have tried this again in another shade and I like it a lot. It is very long wearing for my brows and I'm going to use it in a while. Another product that I got is this mascara. It is the Bat Gal Bank Mascara for bigger and bad lashes it is a volumizing mascara so I'm going to use it after the eye look with this cute brush I'm taking some of the bronzer I'm blending this on the cheekbone and I will try to not go on the blush it is very very natural and it gives a light glow this brush is very soft it is perfect for the perimeter of my head so it takes a little bit of time to blend it because it has a smaller handle but if you want to travel this is great because you can have it inside the blush bronzer and i'm also going to use the same brush for the sides of my nose i'm also going to use some for my jawline with this brush it is also easy to build up the intensity of the bronzer i'm also going to take some with another brush yeah i think with a bigger brush you can add more product it is obvious this bronzer is very very blendable also buildable and for blush i'm gonna be using this one by hourglass it is the ambient lighting blush and i'm going to be using the shade ambient oops i applied a lot and this way you're not gonna see that i have applied three different blushes on my face the brush that i'm using is the angle face brush by essence this one is from the brush set the glowing gold i'm going to have a link in the description box if you want to see all the brushes in this set i'm using all of them in that video to highlight my face i'm going to be using this one by tarte it is the amazonian clay 12 hour highlighter in the shade exposed i'm using the e40 brush by sigma this one has the most amazing vanilla scent it smells delicious also it looks super reflective and highlighting on my skin i really like it moving on to the brows i'm gonna be using this precisely my brow pencil also the 24 hour brow setter this one is a clear brow mascara i have also tried by benefit the gimme brow mascara in the shade 3 and i really like it this one actually has microfibers also it has color today i want to use the clear with the new shade that they have sent me this product is a twistable pencil as you can see i think i like this shade more for my brows and my hair now i'm going to outline the lower part of my brows this product has very nice pigmentation now i'm trying to fill in the shape that i have created and then i'm blending the product with the spoolie i really like this shade also the product is easy to blend on top of that i'm going to apply the 24 hour brow setter this one has a very strong scent of alcohol i have never tried this product before i'm curious to see if it can hold my brow hair in place i don't feel my skin dried or irritated and i think it actually uplifted my brows i'm going to carve out the shape of my brows with the concealer i'm using the beach cosmetics brush number 10 i liked both of the brow products and now let's continue with the palette the packaging is absolutely stunning we have 20 eyeshadows i'm not very sure what i'm gonna do today i'm going to post the most eye looks with this palette so if you see something that you like some color story for an eye look let me know in the comments the shimmery eyeshadows are battery soft i almost didn't touch the pants i'm going to start with this eyeshadow it is called zomer and as we can see i have some dust in the pan because this eyeshadow palette is actually a pressed pigment palette i'm gonna buff this out in my crease with the eye blender brush by essence this one has a nice saturation of color and it is a great 
three color it is very very blendable and you can also build up the intensity of the color now i'm applying a second layer let's continue with eyeshadow mila and with the blending brush by elf cosmetics i'm going to place this in the crease closer to the eyelid this is super stunning and it blends in seconds this brush is from the mint melt collection i have done a review for this collection i'm going to have a link in the description box and about this eyeshadow it looks magnificent and then let's continue with eyeshadow ivy the shimmery eyeshadows are a little bit creamier in consistency as you can see i'm not able to transfer the product with my brush so i'm going to use my fingers that looks stunning also the eyeshadow moves once you start taking a product with your brush for some reason i don't remember ever having this situation before with another palette oh my god that's terrible with the brush this eyeshadow is not applicable the formula is like wet and it is better to use it with your fingertip i don't like doing my eye look with my fingers because i'm not able to be very precise i think i have applied more product and it added texture on my skin i think i have more product near the lashes and it looks patchy <laughs> so this one is a little bit flatter than the previous that i was using it was the it was the essence eyeshadow brush and this one is the eyeshadow brush from elf from the same collection the mint melt after that i'm taking a roxy katan i think it is the name and i'm placing this on the center of the eyelid that looks much better with the brush it actually looks super pretty you can also intensify the color of this eyeshadow this eyeshadow is actually not as wet as the preview so maybe that's why i was able to use it with a brush i'm also gonna take some with my fingertip yeah it looks super stunning also it gives more texture because it makes the finish more metallic next with the same brush i'm taking the eyeshadow aura this one is also wet but not as much as the eyeshadow ivy i'm pressing this on the outer eyelid this is gorgeous with just the brush as well i am like a candy rainbow today <laughs> i'm taking just a little bit with my little little finger and i'm pressing and the color gets more intense after that i'm taking eyeshadow slasher with a small crease brush by elf cosmetics and with this one i'm going to define the outer corner of my eyes and a little bit in the outer crease this eyeshadow has a great color payoff it is also super easy to blend it looks amazing here we have eyeshadow pride and with a smudging brush by essence i'm smudging this in the inner lower eye for this one i was applying less product a couple of times because i didn't want to have fallouts it is very reflective and i like it with the same brush i'm taking blend and snap and i'm going over the edges of the lower eye that gives a more vibrant color to my skin and it looks super pretty it was also very easy to blend and it is very saturated in color i want to highlight the inner corner with the eyeshadow ivy i don't think i will be able to do that yeah the product is not transferable on this brush as well and now i just have a dot of product okay that was a mistake i'm taking a q-tip i have used eight eyeshadows today i also want to do more eye looks the matte eyeshadows are super blendable and i liked almost all of the eyeshadows except one so i'm not disappointed but i want to find another way also to use ivy maybe a different brush or if you have any makeup tips let me know in the comments i like that we have a variety of vibrant colors also some neutrals so you can do something every day also you can have a pop of color the only shade that i'm missing from this eyeshadow palette is a matte black eyeshadow or a darker brown eyeshadow because i think this one is a little bit warmer that's my makeup taste of course let's continue with the mascara it is the bad gal bank mascara by benefit 
and we have a very flexible applicator also a conical shape this one is a synthetic spoolie this one is with one coat i think it clamps a little bit the lashes together also i can see that on the lower eye it can give an uplifting effect to the lashes also it has a dark intense color i'm going to apply a second coat it definitely gives volume i want to remove some of the product on a tissue yeah it has a lot of product as you can see i think that's the issue basically because the formula is not very thick as i can see it can separate my lashes better now i like that the applicator is very thin and i can go in the inner corner it is very easy for me to use this applicator i also like that it is flexible i'm going to apply a second coat to this eye and i'm trying to remove the excess product that works much better however if you apply more product the lashes are gonna get clumpy you can see also the lower eye my lashes are clamping together the formula of this mascara is more wet than creamy also it dries a little bit faster so you need to be fast with your coats i don't like so much the definition but you can definitely give nice volume to your lashes it's been a couple of minutes i have a q-tip here and let's see if this mascara is staining my skin Oh, that, that was super easy. So I think it stained a little bit my skin in the crease, but it's not so noticeable. I'm going to take one more Q-tip. I was able to remove it completely, but also have removed my eyeshadows. So I'm taking the previous brush and blend, blend, blend. And let's continue with the Supreme Glosses. So this one is a full pigment lip gloss and I got the shade watermelon soda i don't know why i put them again in the box <laughs> and this is celebrity skin i'm going to remove what i have now on my lips it is the essence good luck charm for joy sparkly lip gloss and it was from the trend edition good luck charm and <laughs> I love this lip gloss, it gives like a pink sheen. I'm going to start with this, the Celebrity Skin. And we have a different applicator for this gloss. It is like a leaf. I don't know how I feel about the applicator. I'm not sure that it makes my job easier. I think this one is such a gorgeous nude lip gloss. It can go with basically any eye look. The formula is not as light as a clear lip gloss because this one has a very opaque color it is like a more wearable liquid lipstick in my opinion with a glossy finish the formula is amazing for this shade and let's continue with the watermelon soda the color is absolutely stunning and we have such an incredible saturation of color i love this color for summer especially the packaging is also super cute i prefer the previews for the gloss lip gloss because it was more playful however this is also super nice the glosses are a thumbs up for sure i think i liked all of the products today except the l'oreal primer which i think i can make it work with another sponge the sponge that i have used today is not so wet so i think that's the reason my foundation looks a little bit patchy on my forehead also i still have some white dots of primer on my hair so this product is a maybe let me know in the comments what is your favorite product of today's video mine is definitely this lip gloss it is super glossy and you can watch next this video here if you like this one please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell and i will see you in the next one bye